What's going on, everyone? It's Legend in Two Games. Real fans, real talk. We're in overtime as we prepare for the fourth annual NBA 2K tournament going down this Sunday, December 15th. We brought in some special guests. Jada Great, who's competed in our previous tournaments and also was in a championship one year. Uh, and Ricky Muffin, who's the number one rated player in all of NYC. He's come to invade the tournament. He heard this the big fish. He heard that you ain't a real champ unless you win this one. Fellas, how you guys doing today? Doing good, man. I'm chilling. Yeah? Yeah. Now, Ricky, you've played in a lot of tournaments, man. You've got 12 titles under your belt, and you recently won one that I actually granted you an interview at Hot 97. What do you expect from this tournament? How do you expect to come in, and how do you think your game plan is going to translate to the Real Fans Real Talk tournament? I feel like I'm going to come in. I'm going to see who I'm playing first, and just take it a game at a time, bro. Just one quarter at a time. By the second quarter, it should be a blowout, whoever I play in the first round. So. Wow. That's big talk. Jay, you've played in our tournaments in the past. You know it's a rowdy environment. Some people compare it to the Rucker Park of NBA 2K tournaments. This is true. How do you, how do you think Ricky Styles going to fare in the tournament? Who? It's, it's a guy sitting in front of you here. Never heard of him. Tell him to keep banging. Ricky Muffin. Nobody's losing to nobody named Ricky Muffin, boy. We, we do this over here. You coming to do a blowout. Who, wow. who man is this? Like, <laughs> who man is this? This, this is the number one rated player in New York City. He was in High 97? High 97, baby. With who? Hip Hop Gamer. <laughs> I smoked him. I smoked him too. <laughs> You're next. Nah, you next. I hear first that. round? Sounds like a first round. We, we can't guarantee who you guys will be playing in the first round. Uh, this does not mean that you guys are facing off right away. Okay. But as one of our better players in the, in the tournament, we wanted to ask you some tough questions in front of him and vice versa. You've played in a lot of structured tournaments, but the Real Fans Real Talk version is the Rucker Park of 2K tournaments. Very rowdy environment. A lot of noise, a lot of trash talking. How do you think you can handle that type of situation? Handle any situation, man. I've been through it all already. Every situation you can think of. Fourth quarter, game winners, buzzer beaters, blowouts. Do everything here, man. Jay, you've played in the tournament for a couple years. You know how crazy it can get. He's played in structured environments. What would you do to pull him out of his game? I mean, all of that in 250 will get you on the train, what he just said. I don't, I'm not worried about him. I mean, we going to play. I'm going to do my thing, and that's it. I ain't, I'm not going, not going to do too much talking. I don't really do too much talking. Y'all seen my work. Light work like the lights work. You know how this go. They so. seen your work. You got yeah. no championships. I feel you. The work is invalid. I feel you. The resume is invalid. My resume you. is valid. From where? The high 97 in the hip-hop game? Come on, B. Like I told you, he's nobody. <laughs> Stop it. I'm laughing at you right now. <laughs> So you're not respecting the championships and other tournaments. You feel that doesn't measure up? I mean, I'm not gonna take away from it. I wasn't there. I'm not. I'm no hater. Like, don't don't get it wrong. Don't get me. Don't get it twisted. Nah, I respect what you did. Twelve chips is twelve chips. You're right. I have none. But you come through. <laughs> the last person that came through that they brought was a ringer. He got smoked, like a pack of cools. I feel like you're just talking, man. Like what what are you bringing to the tournament that day, Ricky? I'm bringing to the tournament one experience. That's what I'm bringing, man. I've been through so many people. I've seen every type of every type of gameplay that there is. I've seen it. If anything, we could play right now if you want to, man. If I play him, I'm not gonna use the Lakers. I'm probably smoking with the Clippers, Rockets. I don't know. It depends on what I depends on how I feel. If he even get that far, because I'm not I'm not the only one you got to worry about, bro. <laughs> in the previous tournaments you played in, you're able to wear headphones. You're able to cancel out the noise. This tournament, you've got to embrace it. You, you've got to welcome in that type of pressure. Do you think that will affect your game? Absolutely not. It's not going to affect me. I had crowds cheering against me. I made them quiet. Just shh, and I bow for them at the end. I beat their best friends. I beat people in front of their girlfriends. It's sad sometimes seeing them lose, but you got to love it because I'm a winner. Sometimes hmm. people have to lose, so that's what it is. That finger over the mouth was wild shaky. Um, I'm not worried about him, <laughs> son. I'm not worried about him, bro. Like I'm not. <laughs> this, this is I'm not worried about you. Do you do you think the other tournaments he's played in can prepare him for what he's going to see on Sunday? Probably not. Probably. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I wasn't there where he was at, so I don't know what he's faced. He's a half stepper, man. It's probably probably not. How about you make a decision, and stick to it, man. I'm whack or I'm not whack. On Sunday, you're gonna find out if I'm really good or not. You're no, you're dirt. You're dirt, dirt by man. my standards. Like I said, I don't know who. 
I don't know what JV leagues you've been playing in or who you've been smoking. I don't I don't know. Like I said, I'm not you just got twelve tips. That's on record. You went the hot nine for a reason. I'm like I said, I'm no hater, but this is a different tournament. This is what I do, bro. Like yeah, I don't play in tournaments. That's why you only got that's why you have twelve chips. Because I don't play in tournaments. I got other things to do. But for this, I'm gonna come out for this. Can't yeah. wait to see him Sunday, man. If mm -hmm. I do run into him, probably losing the first round. Don't matter, finals, semis. If you run into each other, it's gonna be a slaughter season. Hurt. It's gonna be bad, man. Okay. Hurt. Now, on Sunday, what, what are your expectations to come out of it? Obviously, you're looking to win. Yeah. Are you Are you expecting to be just overly impressive? Or are you just looking to just get by and save it till, till it matters mm -hmm. later on? I mean, I've been in numerous situations. I've smoked cats. I hit game winners from like 30 with Clay. Like you've seen my resume, you've seen my work. So I, like I said. Well, I'm waiting for Sunday. I'm not doing too much talking this year. I've done that in the past, and it backfired. So I've learned my lesson. But for this, him, what's his name don't, again? Don't listen. I don't want you to think just him. He's coming in. He's got the bullseye on his back because he is the number one rated player. And you know that. Know. Everyone's going to want to knock you out off. Everyone's gunning for me. You know that already. I love it. Okay. How important is view to you on the court? View? Yeah. Game and view that you play on. Well, I know 2K view is like the most played viewed. But I've practiced in broadcast, too, because some people like to play on broadcast. So I, I've played both just because I know there's a lot of OGs in the game who still play in broadcast view. So I'm prepared for that. Same question for you, Jay. Either or. Broadcast or um, 2K. 2K I've been playing more lately, but, yeah, I've been playing 2K forever. So I'm definitely on broadcast. It don't matter. Where would this rank for you compared to your other tournaments? This is the big fish right here, man. This is – this would be – my number one championship if I win this one right here. Just because I have the, such a big bullseye, I have this, these slow people trying to protect what they have, but I'm going to take it on Sunday. But believe. And if you happen to face Jay along the way, what take, would your prediction be? My prediction? The first quarter is going to be close. The second quarter, I'm going to pull off. The third quarter, I'm going to measure him. And the fourth, I'm going to put him in the coffin. So that's what it's going to be. And Jay? Come on, bro. Like, <laughs> Ricky Muffin. That's all I got to say. Nobody's losing to anybody named Ricky Muffin. We do side wages? Listen, it's grown band business. Whatever you want to do, you want to put a side bet on it. Friendly, you know, gentleman's bet. We do gentleman's bet, man. We won't discuss any, any terms on, you know, yeah, on we camera. We don't do that, no. But what? off camera, yeah. whatever you guys decide, you decide. Ultimately, Sunday, December 15th, you got to come out. Ricky Muffin. Jay the Great, both these guys are gunning for the grand prize and a chance to play for the championship at the Barclays. Real fans, real talk. We'll see you guys there. I'm gonna fuck us. This is your African King of Comedy, Michael Blackson. You watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Get real with it, my son. Live from the camp. Bob, you can't. Uh huh. This is Hi, Real Fans, Real Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real